So I thought I'd start with a classic for this 24-hour stream from 1993. The OG Doom. Am I going to beat in one sitting? I don't know. But, hey. Where's the fun in just sitting around? Let's find out. Make sure everything's capturing properly. Okay, that seems to be working. Sorry, I'm just adjusting things. Yeah, 1993. Jesus. I may need to adjust things on the fly. I'll be just using a uh, mouse and keyboard for this. Player. Yeah. And we'll start with Knee Deep in the Dead. Uh, hurt me plenty. Just. There we go. I'm just making, checking all the audio stuff right now. Okay, shift to sprint. Okay, I... This feels so weird not to be able to look up and down. There's no jump button. As someone who's mu much more used to the FPSs of today. Also, I was like, Nyom. God damn, I go fast. Gotta get all the armor while I can. Yeah, classic Doom. Hey, Ampersand. Let me know how the audio levels are. And yes, if you've been watching my long plays on YouTube, also, yes, I'm actually talking. A little bit loud. Would you believe I've never actually played this? Audio's good. Okay, I'll just turn down on my headphones just a bit. I, I instinctually hit the jump button. How you doing today, Ampersand? What's going on? Wait, no, Carol. Hey. Boom. Die. There we go. Yes. Exit, but. This is OG Doom. Even I know there's stuff in the wall, there's stuff hidden. There. Get all the ammo. Par is 30 seconds. And I got no secrets. This game is just a classic. I know it's like, and people were like, oh, this is the degradation of society. It's like, like I wasn't playing, I didn't have a PC when Doom OG came out. 
but like I remember the controversy. And like you look at it nowadays and it's laughable. I will say one thing though. Fucking soundtrack slaps. Do 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 do. Like for me it's just I don't get like where people are like, oh this is horrifying, this is degenerative. It's like This is it's like, oh you're shooting someone, it's like yeah. Where do was out at the time? That's fair. Like as a juxtaposition against the games of the time, this would just be insane. He's constipated. I'm very easily amused. Thank you for the armor. Oh yeah, it, nowadays this is super tame. But it's, you think it still plays well. Yeah, that's where I got that. Also, the the levels were literally like mazes, and that's where I got the shotgun. Secret. I'll take the box of bullets. Ramped up a lot in the early '90s. Well, hey, rem remember when uh, D and D was the path to Satanism? Whereas nowadays it's literally a meme for lol clinky clack shiny math rocks. Yep. Oh, I got him with one shot. Yeah, go me. What did I just do? Everything I enjoy. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Uh. I, did I retweet that? No, I just sent that to my friend. Because, <clears throat> you know... Oh, Jesus. Because, you know, nowadays, you literally can't enjoy something. Everything is cruel and wicked and bad. Did I run out of shotgun ammo? Damn it. But everything that's not that stuff is fucking. <laughs> yeah. It's literally. The gag is like, how do you be good? Don't have fun. That, that's all I see it is. It's like, how do I live a good life? Literally do not do anything fun. I just got a three for one. Gotta love it. But yeah. And don't worry, Doom is not the only thing we're going to be playing today. I've got a few games on the on the docket. Things uh, some people may be able to join me for, if they're interested. Like, off the top of my head, I've I've kind of got something. It's fine, I'm saying it's going to be alone. I have sacrifices to attend to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where are you? I, there you are. Oh, hi. Got some more shotgun ammo. Uh, yeah, because I just wanted to start off with an OG game I've never played. Uh, I've got uh, Monster Hunter World, like, as a potential. I don't have Rise because I don't want to buy it. 
Like, it looks like fun, it's just not. But just for me, world still seems super There's also something like Terraria, you know, uh, team fight tactics, possibly. I just tried to jump up there. Uh, yes. I booted it up and played the first level the other day just to make sure it was, uh, like, just to make sure it was running and captured properly. Hi. Because, yeah, like, wh when this thing was the thing, I didn't have a PC. I was a console kid until... Wish I could play Doom again for the first time. Memory wipe uh, requires heavy objects, a lot of liquor, and uh, probably a few quite, quite sub substances of questionable legality. Yeah, until I was, God, in my teens, like late teens, is when I even got got interested in PC gaming. Because for me, it was a, I, we were always a console household. Get, get back here, you mother... There we go. It's so weird that I can just fire and I don't have to aim up. Like, it's all just one plane. Like, I want to look down and see if there's anything down there that's worth it. I think there is, though. God, how old was I when Doom came out? I had a Sega and a PS1 and then moved to PC. Oh, uh... Uh, N64, PS1, PS2... Uh... Oh, hi. Ninety. Yeah, this OG came out. I'm just... So I was around... Same age. Where do you need to shoot? In their general direction. Oh shit, what the fuck? You're new. And you're angry. Okay. Yeah, cause on Game Pass, I saw, I saw this on Game Pass. And it's, uh, yeah, the OG Doom and Doom 2 Hell on Earth are on there, along with, uh, Doom 3 BFG Edition, I, and Eternal, but not Doom 2016, which, you know. Honestly, I still hold that up as one of the best FPSs I've ever played. Can I get that? Yes. Okay, I came into there. 2016 is, yeah, it, it is fucking stellar. Okay, got that. 
I do want to play Eternal. Like, that is, that is on games I want to play. But I wanted to start the game with a classic vibe, an OG feel. You know. How can you be... How, how can you make, you know, Satan jokes if you haven't played Doom? recently actually watching some uh, Quake 3 arena like 1v1 at like the highest level and it is a trip to watch people go through those maps and like just use everything it's like what is going on thing I know about these games is try and remember where you haven't been. Also explosive barrels are your friend. Pick up the mega armor. Have you ever gotten everyone to sell quick on Fridays? Finding secrets used to be such a flex. Oh my god. Mm. Fuck that. Yeah, I haven't found any secrets. I just I don't know the telltale things to look for. I literally thought this was something crawling towards me for a second. Radiation shielding suit? Okay. In a way, game guides have ruined gaming because the secrets are just trivial. Yeah. yeah I, I can't disagree with that. That's where it's like... Oh, hey! Chain gun! Yeah, you can 
here yet. Okay, I guess that's just to bring that down. If I'm playing a game for the first time, like a Dark Souls, a Neo, anything like it, is if I'm redoing a playthrough like second or third, then I'll use like a guide if I want to like find extra things. And be my rules first playthrough, no guides. Because, you know, like you said, that would just literally take 90% 90 of the fun out of it. I was like, where's my shit? Where's my hair kind of? Oh, I use guide shamelessly. Uh, yeah. Like for me, it's after I finish the first playthrough, like say for a Dark Souls. Oh yeah. I will guide it up a box of rocket. Okay. Rocket launcher near? I need a yellow key to open that door. Okay, well, I know where the exit is. Oh, there's the key. Fuck, I get over there. Oh, this is what the radiation suit was for. And now that I don't have it... Dang it. Alright, let's just get out of here. What the... Nope. Okay, I do need it. I'm an idiot. I think it's down to the types of games I play. Guys feel not too cheap. That's fair. Like, uh, I just finished up uh, Battle Chef Brigade uh, Deluxe. I, it's, I did a long play on my uh, YouTube. I didn't use a guide for it just because I was like, this is something I feel like I can into it. Like, 90%, 90%, 90, 95% of what they want. Okay. Also, it's a really cute, really fun game. But like if I'm playing like say Forza, oh I'll look up a car modding guide like at the start. Because car modding in those types of games is not something you can into it. I'm more impressed I was able to keep talking while I was walking backward than shooting. Hey, keep on. Okay, oh, we got lots of armor. MMOs in survival game. Oh yeah, that for those I'm completely with you, I guess. Completely understandable. Like, for a lot of those, like, generally just to get through, you need a guide. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of those are not what I would call intuitive. Dead cutter? 
That threw me. I, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was just a glitch. Invisible dickheads now. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, when, when we were kids, like, there was time to spend, you know, 250 hours in Final Fantasy VII. Nowadays, we're like, I do not have the time nor the energy for that. I don't remember Shadow Monster. Well, I, I... Something new, yay. I don't even gotta aim at the window, bitch. Oh, I literally see the Invisa dickhead. I caught the little flash. Come on. Thank you. I hear you yelling at me, don't worry. I'll I can game a max of six hours. The only reason I'm gonna be able to even game there for as long as I am today is because I'm on vacation. Like generally my streams are like three-ish hours. Y'all can just stay over there. Where are you, fucking bullhorn looking bastard? Yeah, I know it's a long time, but the point is more like, I wanna see if I can do it, you know what I mean? Like I'm not doing, I'll be blunt, I'm not doing this for a charity. I'm not doing this to raise awareness for something. I'm doing this to see if I can fucking do it. Here, here's the awareness. Radio Achievements wants to play a lot of video games. Oh, fuck. I tried to jump over them. But I'd be grumpy. Damn. Ah. Be grumpy for the last. I tried to. I hit space to try and jump over. God damn it. Instincts. I got. I got. Lost the chain gun. <laughs> eh, it happens. All right, I'll have to use the pistol for a little bit while I find some shotgun ammo. Apologies. UAC. Okay, there we go. Getting some ammo, getting some ammo.
Yeah, that's right. What do you think? What do you like? What? <laughs> yeah. I think it's uh the little bull demon thing. There we go. Ooh. That that fucking <laughs> Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I think it's, yeah, it's the charging dickhead. Holy fuck, bruh. Just that wet thump. It's that wet thump when they hit it. It's like thunk thunk. It's like, oh. Okay. I remember. Yellow room is what fucked me. Didn't even give me a nice reach around. It just fucked me. First secret area. Woo! Okay. I'm paranoid every time I hear that shit now. No dinner for a snow romance. Nope. Geometry, fucker. Yeah. Fucking hell is quite apt. Okay. Much better. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Okay, med kit. Oh shit. Okay, I don't know what that activated, but I have a feeling it was good. Oh, there's my armor up there. Lower down. <laughs> okay, I hit the two buttons up there. Mm. 
Open that up for the radiation too. I'll take I'll take the health. And up here was All right. Partial invisibility. I'll take it. Oh, teleportation. Okay. I can fuck with it. That shit. Is it dickheads? Great. Bad lighting, and I can't see. Cheesy? Yes. For Doom 1? I know he did it for 2016. I was like, I think, 
I don't even know if Mick Gordon was alive when the OG was made. Like, I also don't know how old Mick Gordon is, so. Okay, good on that. What? Phobos Lab. Oh, by the way, I have a nice amount of armor. Some guy named uh, Robert Price. Well, he did an amazing job. Because I still hold E1M1 up as one of the most iconic uh, video game tracks of all time. E1M1, Bloody Tears, Mega Man 2, uh, stage music, uh, like, title music. Those I would just hold up as, like, icons. Or, like, a ton of the Final Fantasy music, like, Dancing Mad. A Sephiroth's theme, obviously. Probably just the audio director at id when uh, Doom was made. people still have that weird thing in their head that oh games are for children etc it's like no the average age of gamers is like mid like it starts at like 25 for the average and like i would pull up uh, uh nobuo uematsu the composer for final fantasy for like the bulk of the I think he's from Final Fantasy 1 to Final Fantasy 10. He was the o he was the responsible for those OSTs and I would put him up with like a lot of just composers because he is amazing. You know and then you know like Legend of Zelda, Koji Kondo, like, still one of the, like, and they helped make some of the most iconic, you know, sounds of a generation.
Yeah. Because, yeah, you just... Music plays such an integral role in gaming and in life in general. Just in my... The chain gun and the handgun both use the same type of ammo. Uh, of course, yeah. It's what, how they. Like, I'll put it this way certain songs are certain, tied to certain points in your life, for good or bad, you always will associate a certain song with, you know, doing a certain thing in a certain time of your life. Yeah, I can number different songs, but from when I was six, yeah. If I go, da 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 da, to literally any, almost anybody, they're gonna know where that's from. And that's just me literally making some noises with my mouth, which is, Like, and if you, you know, any, you know, child of the 80s and 90s, hey, uh, you know, you play E1M1, they're going to know exactly where that's from. Even if, like me, I'd never played it until, you know, you're looking at it. for those dickheads. I thought there was a blue thing over here. I may have been wrong. But also, that's half the fun of nostalgia. I'll give you a perfect example. The song by Rammstein, Firefly. I associate that specifically with uh, Monster... Uh, Monster Rancher card battle on the original PS1 because when I was sitting there playing it that's when I was just really getting into heavier metal and I was introduced to Rammstein so yeah like I associate Firefly with me sitting there hoping I get a good card draw and I've done that like four times god fucking damn it that's where I got the blue key card and I want you to think on that like what is like I cannot listen to anything by Casaman without waiting to play Age of Empires 3 exactly and also like stuff like that is how I discovered like I knew about Weird Al and parody stuff but then like I discovered like the heavy parody stuff like oh god what was it back in the wow days oh fucking Oxhorn and Nim back when I used to play World of Warcraft where I like hard like her this is back when Burning Crusade was a thing And then, you know, like I've always been a fan of hip hop and, you know, but I've, I've listened, I don't like a lot of, uh, modern rap, but I've found myself listening to anime rap or nerdcore like Dan Bull, Rustage, Daddy Fat Snap, Shofu, like where the, f okay, I'm fucking lost now. Yeah, because there you're almost always gonna associate that band with that game from now on. 
Okay, okay. I got the blue key card. Oh, Jesus. Okay. This was the red one. No. Go through here. Pick the blue. Got everything in here. Am I missing something down there? That does. Oh, and I got the mega armor. Okay, I can fuck with that. Okay. I almost uh, something I was uh for me it depends on the game. You know. Like nowadays honestly the game's OSTs are almost always good enough that I was just like I wanna listen to the game soundtrack, not my own stuff. If it's like an MMO or something though, like I'll almost always have, I'll be playing, you know, some of my own music. If I look like I'm lost, it's because I am. Okay, that's where I came in, I think. Come on, what do you got? I'm just going to stick to the... to check the map in this game. Okay. That was completely sticking to the right now. Go through here. Go to the left. I see that. I've already been through there. Come on. As you can tell, I get confused very easily. Okay. 
that is done. Where have I not gone? Uh, currently, once I get... Where the fuck do you... Thank you. Hey. Backpack full of ammo. Uh, currently, the when it's not the 24-hour stuff, uh, there's two games I'm kind of focusing on. That could obviously change. Uh, I just finished Yakuza 3 Remastered, so I'll be moving on to Yakuza 4. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. Uh, I was playing, uh, I'm going to be playing uh, Yakuza 4. And I'm also working on Persona 5 Royale. But I'm playing that co-op with a friend who is uh, much more knowledgeable about the game. And they're not like spoiling it. They're not like telling them go here, go here. I'm just asking them like general hints and like, like I'll be like, okay, if I, if I leave, like, am I leaving anything undone for this section? And they'll tell me like, yes or no. Like, they're not going to be like, you know, hold, they're not hand holding. They're just like, you know, if you can't like, they'll tell me like, okay. Just, just go to bed. There's nothing else you can do for this day. Just hope not wandering around for 45 minutes with my thumb up my ass and when I could have just gone to bed and continued on. There to guide exactly. If I'm gonna miss out on something good that literally I can get nowhere else in the game and you know not having it will be a major detriment to me then warn me but like you know that kind of it's more the make sure I don't fuck myself over kind of thing Got all that stuff. I thought I saw. Him. Switchy. I believe the kids would say banger alert. Lots of bullets. Motherfucker. 
He blew up the barrel. So it is a deal then. Hey, welcome in, uh, uh, Ken. Or Ped. Sorry. I, I misread your name. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Alright. I think this is the last level of Knee Deep in the Dead. the enemies. Shit on. That's a yellow key card. Got the yellow key card. Because I think this is the last level of OG Doom, right? Or were there level, like, I think there's like four level packs I saw. I'm here! That's fancy. Yeah. 
Don't mind me, just gonna strafe around here. Oh shit. Okay, uh, let's uh, swap back to something that I'm not gonna blow myself up with. As soon as I got that, I'm like, okay, I can't use that like I normally would. But I'm happy to have a rocket launcher. I believe we're getting to what they would refer to as the big nasty bastards. Most certainly it's on tonight. Yeah, it's on Game Pass if you have that. There's something up there and I want it. God damn it. I really like this shotgun. Damn it. Okay. But yeah, I'm I'm not sure what I'll be playing next, but like Depending on the game, like, well, I'll be blunt. If I know you and I know you're interested, there may be an invite in there, depending on if you're someone's available, that kind of thing. Maybe Terraria, I don't know. Lots of options. Maybe so. I did have a, maybe some like team fight tactics, but like not, Duos just like playing some TFT. Or maybe doing some like Darkest Dungeon 2 and naming characters like after people in chat kind of thing. Ah, fuck. Hanky Pinky. I think. That's all I could think, like bull demon or pinky bastard, because like when you shoot them, they get all pink and angry. got the red key card. That was pretty yellow. Yep. Yellow again. Where was that red fucking thing? That was yellow. Red up here? No. Okay, red is literally... That's where I literally came in. Damn phone call. Sending the work. Hey, do what you gotta do. What the heck is that? 
Then when you take a shotgun right to the dome. I could really go for a med pack or a med kit or something. to the grocery store. Have a good shop. Brain is doing a melty. Okay, that that was for the first one. Okay, we're doing a bit better.
There we go. Bobos anomaly. God damn it. Missed the secrets, gotta redo it. Yep, okay. Gonna redo it completely. Hey Mira, how are you doing? Two fucking demons uh, waiting for me. That was not fun. I miss. I lost my rockets, and uh, not happy about it. But oh shit. do that. Day, Mira. Yeah. 
Yi. Finally finished a relic weapon. Hey, what'd you get? What were you working towards? I know you mentioned it to me before, but like you never mentioned which your paladin. You mentioned it and then I remembered what it was. You were working on your paladin relic weapon, right? No big deal, just a year. I don't even know what the hell just happened there. This is the first time I've ever played or beaten the OG Doom. I know this isn't the actual end credits, because this is from Nerve Software, which I... Original credits, Carmack Romero, jeez. American McGee, jeez. Even I recognize some of these. But on that, I have Dr. The Run Roots, hope for the Ghost well, I hope so, because also, uh, I might be doing some tier maker later, which I'd love for you to join, since I am going to be going, uh, hopefully about 24 hours. Not sure when, though. Like, I still have I've figured out, like, kind of roughly what games I'm playing. I'm just not so sure of the, uh, timing. You know what I mean? Heard of America McGee's Alice? I just want. I I went to Ultra Violence. I want to hurt me plenty is fine.
that is. Is it the one that's like Uber? I, I know Alice in Wonderland is generally like Uber. The horse out game. It's. Is that the. I think I know which one you're talking to. Wait, I might be thinking of Alice Madness Return. Because I believe they were both made by American McGee, right? No, oh, yeah. It, it's not a horror game by any means, but it has horror themes. Yeah, no, that makes perfect sense, actually. Manus Returns is the new one. Well, it's also great, but the next much charm. I hear things going on. because I can't aim up. Mary of Bull Demons. I think they're actually canonically called Pinky. Like, yeah, I've heard the Alice games are surreal as fuck, but they're actually, like, good. Okay, I need the card for that. I need the right card for that. Oh, oh hey. Secret area, I think. The Doom remix is exactly as framing. Yeah, th isn't it called like Brutal Doom? I've heard of it, but I've never played it because like, this is my first time playing the OG Doom. I've seen some of it played via like speed runs and the like, but. <sighs> I played this one way too much. Yeah, Ampersand, who was just in here, who just had to head to the grocery store, was like... We were also talking, like, certain... How you associate certain games with certain music due to nostalgia. Like... Uh, for her, it was, uh, I think it was, uh, Can't Listen to Casaban without wanting to play Age of Empires 3. For me, it's like... I associate Ramstein with the uh, Monster Hunter Rancher card battle for the PS1 kind of thing. Do you have any weird associations like that? Okay, what the fuck? Okay, they're warping in there. Same with with me to mean like music unrelated. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, like not the game OST itself. Like for me, I always think of Ramstein Fire Fry when I'm when I think of uh, Monster Monster Rancher. Oh hey. Can't think of any. Oh. That's a fucking cocky demon. Jesus. By the way, uh, apparently the audio is good, but I just want to make sure, like, am I, like, above the game, but the game isn't, like, unhearable? For a lot of people, like... I think uh, a lot of it would come with like World of Warcraft, like when you play it so much you start putting on your own music. Like for me, World of Warcraft was where I discovered like, I knew about parody songs like Weird Al and the like, but it's when I discovered, you know, sillier parody, if, they, if there is such a thing. Yeah, red. Right here. I used to play WoW with old school tech now. Oh, hell yeah. Cocky demon. Want to be fucking beholder? <clears throat> At the time, it wasn't old school. Yeah. Oh, and I'll never hit the par times on this. Can I just break these? No. God, I'm... Okay, Berserk kind of sucks. So, do you have a set list in mind for the stream? Uh... Nothing off the top of my head, really. We, we were just more talking about nostalgia. Hey. Thank you, I needed that. You know, how you associate, like, songs with, like, times in your life. I'll probably, depending on when we do tier maker, I'll probably throw on like a bunch of lo-fi. 
Okay, Berserk. You're kind of Garbo. I don't like you. Huh, I just got an achievement for cooking with plasma. Kill five enemies in five seconds with the plasma ray. Cool. Snorty bastards, where are you? Woo! I in there. I was talking about games. Oh, set list. My my I misunderstood. When you when I hear C set list, I thought you were talking about music. My apologies. Uh, well, I'm starting off with OG Doom, obviously. Just, I wanted to start off with a game I've never played. That's not good. Damn it! But I was gonna. I'm, yeah, I'm starting off with Doom until I beat it or it beats me. Uh, then probably uh, the ones that come to mind for me are Terraria, Monster Hunter World, uh, Darkest Dungeon 2, uh, Team Fight Tactics. That's just off the top of my head. Yeah, I saw I saw they backpedaled on the the NFT thing, and I'm just like, ah, good. If we can get enough people, I we could do the worms thing. Like that's actually also a potential for today because uh, the worms WMD I think it was uh, is on uh, Game Pass. And installing that would be very quick. <laughs> Fucking die! NFT. Well, yeah. Because yeah, they're like, oh yeah, it's a great thing. It's like, and then literally everyone's like, no, this is a terrible fucking idea. And then after careful market research, AKA seeing how hard we got fucking ratioed on Twitter, don't. But it, uh, then again, it is in the blockchain. Spoiler. What I'm saying is heavy sarcasm. Yeah. Secret area that has happy fun bullets. Go to hell. But yeah, uh, worms, if you're up for it later, I just would have to install it. Wouldn't take long though. Team fight tactics, tear maker. Some Monster Hunter World, possibly. Like, that, that's more of the I'm not sure pile. Oh. 
That guy was wrong. Goes wrong. The core idea still doesn't make fucking sense. You want to have a picture of a thing you can say you own but has no discernible value. Because everyone's trying to jump on the latest trend in the hopes that it'll be a f like fucking Bitcoin or whatever. made a tiny bit of money off stocks and crypto and I'm just like I'm gonna back off because I do not have enough capital to be comfortable you know doing this By stocks and fucking less regulated. Yeah. That one got burnt by stocks. Yeah. Because they tried to go there in the fucking AMC Diamond Hands shit. Look, I understand holding a stock because you think there's more to be made with it and you see upward mobility. But. It's just become a meme to hold on to an underperforming stock. Yeah. I bounced. This is how I put it. I made a I made a rent payment off AMC. I made enough off of AMC stock to pay my rent for a month. I'm good. Yeah. Motherfucker was behind me. For me, I was just like, it's, I, I bounce. was very stupid of me. Yeah. It's amusing. I know people are like, I don't know, I just... Where was 
the red one. Get lucky and drop into the right one on the first one. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, I got everything. Do a, uh, and I need a profit. I do have a bottom because I refuse to get out at a loss. Makes sense. It's the old adage: know your limit, play within it. That's where you got to think of it. Dodge and not unga bunga in there. Unga bunga, unga bunga, unga bunga. But I like to bunka of unga. You play warrior. 
Hey, how dare you? I know it's accurate, but shut up. Hey, Mega Armor. Mega Armor. His partial invisibility don't do shit, eh? Those fire effects. So brutal. So realistic. You are not having a good day, bruh. Okay. Yeah, when this came up, yeah. Said it was too realistic and corrupting children. Oh, yeah, total. Y you know me, like, I, I just start the murder spree. It's so cool. It's so realistic. It's so influential. Something to Scarlet I want to send to you too. It is the 2022 uh, uh, Doorways to Demonic Possession. 2022. I'll send it to you on Discord quick. And this is the latest list. What will it be for 2022? Okay. <clears throat> okay, okay, I can. Remote viewing. Yeah. I don't know. That it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, because these are all the doorways to demonic possession. Yeah. But hey, these, these are the doorways to demonic possession. <gasps> Some of those are old hat. Like
like fucking D and D and fucking video games. I literally looked at that and I literally went, oh, it's literally anything that makes you think for like a millisecond. Yeah, true. Like, if you're gonna demonically possess me, like, at least still let me see. And, you know, if you could at least do my job or whatever. Just so I can, like, you know, keep paying my bills. I'll be a vessel. I just want to, you know, keep a roof over my head. Good, good point, good point. Yeah. Well, basically, according to the church, we're already, like, fucking possessed by demons, because how dare we, you know, support the rights of people and, you know, you know, not, you know, take place in hate crimes. Like, how fucking dare we? Because it's not, not a good day if I can't oppress an, an underclass. Like, fuck. Probably some way to do that to make them open up, but hey. <sighs> the imaginary voice says that, but the product of law is a little bit stronger than, you know, a voice. I try to, you know, I try to, you know, I, you know, follow the law. Shocking, I know. Who would have thought I'm so edgy with all these deviant ideas? Mm -hmm. Fuck, yeah. I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying laws are great, it's just, I, I'll tend to, like, lean towards following them. Just cause, you know, prison and shit. Wow, what the fuck? Laws are not morally just, and that's what was happening. You're not wrong. Okay, and get 
get some ammo. Oh, fuck! Okay, I wasn't expecting the gangbang of imps. Hey, lots of bullets. Anyway, yeah, okay. yeah. Yep. I was just seeing if I could touch the walls, like if this was an aesthetic choice. Do it. I'm a fucker. <laughs> this is an aesthetics choice. Uh. Then again, like, depending on what they were working with, I think they were trying to make like a fiery room. But, you know, fire effects not exactly top tier back then. So they dropped the ball. Ah, fuck! Oh, pinkies and fucking caca demons. I'm just gonna go over here. Motherfucker, give me something in there. Nope. Just a monster closet. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Drop into. Okay. Hey. Oh, hi. I believe the play term is get fucked.
There's no crouch button. Uh, possibly, like... I just need a couple fucking health packs. Oh, there's the exit, but I can't get to it. Okay. Okay, so I started up there. Yeah, if I don't see the end of the game, it's not a super big deal. Like, I'd like to, but... And that, that just murders me. Yellow and the red. Up through here, he's dead. That's the exit. Can't get to it though, but I can get to that. Oh, that just back here. Yeah, but if you get that, that's fair. That's fair. already been here. in behind them. Nothing up there. And that puts me here. Wait. Over there. What the fuck? Okay. I'm just like, I'm confused now. Okay, I'm lost. Okay. There's something in here. Ugh. <sighs> 
Damn it. I don't fucking know. I was still confused. What? Oh. 
God damn it. I'm not going to activate any cheats yet. Honestly, if I... If I deep six myself uh, one more time, I might uh, call out a time to swap games. Fucking hell. Okay, doing better, doing better. Okay, whoo! There we go, figured it out. <clears throat> so demonic, so chilling. Uh, no, I died like four times. I found the way out and then I got crushed. Okay, I'm back at start. <laughs> Oh. 
I was saying like if if I bite it one more time I might just uh I might just move on to the next game. It's not that I'm not having fun, it's just, you know. Okay, did that. Cacodemon is like, dude, I was sleeping. there and uh, yeah uh, and this is where I got completely fucking turned around like okay along here Okay, come on. Ah, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> so Doom was fun. <laughs> 